Uh, hi, yeah. uh, this is uh, Marshall here again. Uh, this tutorial is just to show you on how you create, how you can create a Bitcoin wallet or create an account on the Bitstamp. Now, Bitstamp is a worldwide uh, crypto exchange which also accepts fiat. So you can use uh, MasterCard, you can use credit card. Uh, yeah, so you can use MasterCard and you can use uh, Visa and then you can use other uh, other payment uh, processing um, such as astropay and you can do a bank wire as well okay so this will be a, a, a suitable um, exchange to use one of the suitable and it's very reputable so it's a big uh, uh, it's a, quite a big exchange uh, with a lot of volume a lot of liquidity so it would be the best place, uh, but you have to create an account and then you have to do all your KYC registration. So this is the process, uh, it's, this is a movement, we all need to learn about this movement, the crypto market, crypto exchange, uh, how we deal with uh, the opening wallet, etc. Okay, so what you need to do, once you go to this website, okay, www.bitstamp.net, and you just need to click uh, register. And then you decide whether you're a corporation or, or you're personal. So this time I just go for personal account, all right? And then I put my name. So yeah, here you put your first name, last name, email address, and you click agree to this time terms and conditions, and you click continue, okay? So I'm just gonna pause the video, put my, okay. So once I fill the information, I, I, I click submit and they send me an email an email so what I need to do is to just go to my email and then just um, refresh and should be there all right so I click here and uh, I can see here this time to say to activate your account click the link below so I just click this link to activate my account and then uh, here I just uh, you can create say then you set the password right again I'm gonna just pause this video or I put my password and I click continue so I click the password put the password here and confirm it same password you put there and just click continue okay so now I click so now I just need to click continue okay not to use I just show you my user ID um, you can use your user ID or email address to log in so I can use that here that's where you, then you need to start verification in order to get you get verified you have to submit this document make sure that you have this documentation ready if you use a mobile phone make sure that they're on your mobile phone if you're using a desktop make sure they're all ready okay so you provide basic information all right so let me just uh, click start verification so you can see they ask what country I am from um home address etc so i'm gonna pause this video and to do this and i'll click continue to move to the next one you can see once i click next they ask me now for the my mobile phone so uh, you can put this code for example whatever country or you can select a country all right and then i'm gonna enter my phone and click put next again to verify my number they ask me to verify my number they send me a code to this number then I'll verify that I'll come back. The process is pretty much straightforward. They ask you some information. So the number I put there, they ask, they send me a code to confirm that my number is correct to verify my number. Now I'm going to the next page where they ask me for my passport and my driver's license. So very simple stuff. You click on each one. So right now I'll click there to find my passport, to upload the document etc etc so i'm gonna pause this video while i'm doing that and when i go to the next level then i'll i'll, I'll, I'll stop again so this is my passport and i click next it asked me this uh let's make sure nobody's impersonate you we ask you to uh, film yourself performing two simple tasks one will involve speaking out loud okay so let's see so what they're gonna ask me here so it's, it will allow you to you to access uh your camera obviously in order to do what they want you to ask, right? So I'm gonna do all right. Let me just use Allah because I'm gonna speak. <coughs> so let's make sure 
that I am doing the my face is within the the box. So my face needs to be within the box. Alright. Um inside the oval, let's say. I think this should do it. So press record and follow the instruction. Alright. Okay, so it's in there. Now I'm going, they're asking me to press record. Look over your left shoulder. So I'm looking over my left shoulder. Alright. And uh, when you're done, press next. Okay. Uh, say the, uh, each digit out loud. So four, four, nine. Okay, yes. But that took too long because I was explaining. Alright, let's try to do it again. Let's go back. This time I will just follow the instruction. This is uh, one of the strange verification I ever done. We do the action again. Alright. So let's do the action again. Stop not talking. Seven one one. There we go. <laughs> Very strange one. So now uh, uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's click confirm. That was me. All right. If I click the video. Seven one one. This is brilliant, it's high level security, really. All right, <laughs> it looks strange. All right, okay, so now let me skip confirm. All right, so that's verification process because I had the document already written those ones. So, so basic financial information, they're asking me. So obviously they just, this, this exchange is a regulated exchange, so they have to go through extreme uh, KYC, all right? Okay, so your current occupation, your annual deposit estimation, source of source of funds. All right, this is just it will depend on you. So I'm gonna pause this video and just um, you know put my details and click on this. those questions. I guess they ask me extra information again. This one you just pick uh, whatever you want to use. Really, um, I will just use. I'll be investing, maybe a bit trading. Um, uh, no, I want to do this gambling activity related to buying and selling goods services. Maybe, yeah, I might use that. Do you intend to deposit crypto from other sources to your business? Yes. And how did you get the crypto asset that you intend to deposit? Uh, see, uh, that. Uh, no. Okay, so that. Uh, then maybe just put, I don't know, I don't, you can just put anything really, um, or maybe investment like that. Alright, so then I just click next, and now it's asking me for proof of address. Uh, it's quite a lot of details, but it is worthwhile because once you upload this document, then you can be able to use a debit or bank transfer easily. So I'm going to use uh to put my uh you know, proof of address to in order to you know to show uh, my proof of address here. just upload my uh, bank statement so now i need to click uh continue all right success you've done with verification the final step is to secure your account so now i'm going to secure my account and i'm going to use the google authenticator of course uh, here it is. Um, okay, so I've got the Google Authenticator. Okay, it's supposed to give me the, the app. Alright, so scan the QR code with the app. What QR code? Okay, so I have the app. So I'm going to scan the QR code. So if I click, I have the app. It's going to give me a QR code. 
So I'm going to pause this video so I'm going to scan the QR code etc and I'm off to the next step. I've secured my account with the, um, Google authentication. Alright, so then I put the details and so now they said they are verifying my account. So I'll just click finish. Alright, it's going to take a few days. And uh, I say to enhance the security of your account and enable all functionality, you need to complete the following. Verify your account. Obviously, it's still pending. So we're just going to wait for a few days. You can see that there's a bank holiday, 31st and the 1st of November, um, probably in the US, because it's a US uh, base, I guess. All right. So I don't know what this bank holiday, but you will be able to buy, to top up the account, to buy the euros, um to buy the usd and uh, you will be able to top up once you've done all the verification okay so you can click deposit here and once i'm verified i will do videos you can do an eu sepa you can do an international bank transfer so very very good guys i will urge you to use this exchange uh if you want to buy btc and you want to send them um anywhere especially in crew or, or swing all right guys i'll see you in the next video once i'm verified i will shoot up another another video and to show you how to deposit etc bye for now